Guys, what's up? She teaches 14 here, checking in with another video, and yo, I wanted to talk about something that really, really bugs me with Crash Bandicoot 4, and the the, the thing that bugs me with this game um, on PC, it, you know, we're gonna get into it. All right, so I'm just gonna give a little, little quick review on what I think about Crash 4, and. Uh, you know, does this game hold up to the insane trilogy? And I'd say absolutely yes. The game is fantastic. The graphics are beautiful. The movement animation is beautiful. There's tons of content to go after. Um, I'm a huge, I'm a hardcore fan of the Crash series. So um, I think it's, it's really, you know, this game is like a kind of a, this is a true ode to you know crash fans of you know yesteryear and stuff so um this is the perfect crash game it's i haven't got that far into it yet but i've been focusing on uh mainly 100 percenting the levels and getting everything and i don't know it's gonna be really difficult because i heard this game has a ton of shit to go after but you know, the game is amazing. It's amazing. The controls are tight. They're precise. The jumping is spot on. The mechanics so far from what I've uh, uh, witnessed, they're really good. They really just mesh and feel very polished. There's nothing wrong with the game at all on PC. It runs well. I'm playing it at uh, 1440p, 75 frames per second. And it just real feels smooth. It looks great. It looks great. And sorry, I'm doing live commentary, so you know I need to focus at this tick too. It's pretty hard to do, but you know I like to keep my commentaries live. Anywho, uh, yeah. So Crash 4 on PC just honestly is a fantastic game. It's it runs very well. It looks well. It looks well. It looks great. And yeah, I love it. The problem's not the game. The problem is the online, always online PR, which is insanely anti-consumer. Um, because holy shit, you already have DRM on the game, and then you're gonna put always online DRM. So the problem with this game is that, with uh, not the game, but the you know the, the business sense, you know, from the company that sells this game is that I guess they feel, you know, well, people on PC is going to steal the game, so hey, let's just, you know, make it bad for actual fucking customers like myself who pre-ordered the game. You can see the, the skin, uh, it's totally tubular skin that I'm using which you really get for pre-orders. Um, yeah, so let's just punish customers that legit bought the game, pre-ordered the game, and have it where they have an always online DRM uh, game and they if the game goes off let's say if your internet just craps out I could be playing a level getting the freaking insanely perfect relic and the game just I mean uh my connection let's say my internet drops I'm fucked you know what I'm saying so it's it's terrible dude it's it's awful it's really just anti-consumer it's anti-consumerism at its finest and uh i feel like in 2021 this should not be happening um there's too many people who purchase their games legitimately there's too many people who you know love these games oh, fuck i died <laughs> there's so many people who purchase these games legitimately there's too many people who you know really have a passion for this medium for them not to have some sort of you know at least some freedoms with their purchases i mean i just i just don't understand um always online drm it's it's really stupid excuse me <laughs> it's really stupid and it just it's just anti-consumer consumerism at its finest um you can't even you can't even start this game by the way from the folder um you can't start this game from the folder ah shit you can't start this game from it, from the folder. You have to uh, actually literally have Battle.net open in the background. Um, you have to have it 
you have to start from the battle.net app so you can't uh put it on steam let's say um can't put it onto steam and you know have it run from steam you know you know let's say you have the insane trilogy on uh steam right and you want to have your collection be complete um you can't do that with this game yeah you, you, you can't you have to basically uh, always run this game from battle.net and it's it's ridiculous like you know because I was trying to connect this game to the GOG Galaxy app and it just wouldn't let me do it every time I start the game up it'll say oh you know the game crashed or it can't can't log in to battle.net restart that just absolutely fucking ridiculous man. ridiculous and unacceptable it's unacceptable in 2021 we still have to have always a line to our video games this is it's terrible and in a single player game like this not even something like overwatch or um i can understand something like overwatch i should say or something like uh diablo 3 it's games that are online focused but games like crash this is you know this is straight up like platformer solo play I mean, there is some like elements of co-op multiplayer but nothing really like online i don't think at least um, it's, it's just ridiculous man it's ridiculous oh crap I'm just trying to get that box up there uh, you know I gotta get the insanely perfect relic, but it's okay. I already got it. <laughs> I already got it on this level, so I don't need to go for it again. But yeah, like I said, um, just unacceptable, man. You know, people spend their hard-earned dollars, hard-earned money on these video games. I think they should be able to get a little bit more, you know, control of what they can do with them at least. Got that hidden gem already. Don't need it again. Oh, I'm missing one box. Oh, I know the box I'm missing. Oh, oh well. I already got the 100% on this level. So, as you can see there. But, yeah. Like I said, uh, this is unacceptable. And you should try to at least, in my opinion, go buy this game on console. If you have a console, buy it on console. Or if, if it does ever come to Epic or come to Steam, get it on those. Just wait. Do not buy this on Battle.net like I did because it's just not worth it. It's not worth having to deal with all online DRM. You don't really get much freedom with your game. And just wait. Wait, okay? Uh, but this is Jesus418. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And remember to do all that dumb shit. Like, subscribe, comment. I want to see your thoughts. I want to see what you guys have to say about this. And please... Don't buy this game on PC. Don't be like me and buy this game on PC because I didn't know this had always online DRM. I really didn't know. Um, so yeah, peace out guys.